So we had our major, 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 major update here in uh, Rebirth of Glory. And I think many people didn't get some of the updates. And unfortunately, that was definitely an issue in the development part and how they released it. So my goal here is that I want to show you guys the events. So there is the Tribe Duel. We're going to talk about this. And then we're also going to go talk about the event center. And there is this thing called the war preparation. I'm going to do my best to explain it to you guys. Especially for those um, tribes that did not get the update. Unfortunately, you guys got to understand that the game is still in beta. And I think they kind of prematurely launched things in here. You know, we got to give them some slack in here. Um, it's completely free to play right now. And um, it's okay. There's a lot of stuff for them to learn as well and a lot of stuff for us to learn about the game as well. My name is Shinchi42 and um, we're going to discuss the new updates here in Rebirth of Glory. And we do this absolutely free at the moment. We're not um, incentivized to make this video. I'm really just enjoying the game and I want to share the knowledges and as well as uh, some of the tips and tricks and uh, you know talk about some of the updates so if i see something here i must say it how it is and um, if i see something i don't like i'll critique it if i see something i like I just, i'm gonna say i like it okay so first let's talk about the tribe duel and tribe league they are going to be removing the tribe league which is going to be replaced by tribe duel do i like it i honestly do not really like it because in Tribe League, we actually get some really good rewards. Um, in Tribe League, you can get eight, you know, legendary tokens when we go here into rewards. If you are in the Iron Tribe, you can actually get eight legendary tokens. I believe in Silver, you can probably get 12 or 13, I, I don't remember, just for the phase free ones in here. That's not even on the member ranking rewards. So if you manage to top uh, first place, you get 10. And I believe onto the silver, you get 15. So really good rewards that you can get here in the game. And now what they've done also is they have done um, cross server here. As you can see, uh, we can see a cross server. We can see now how they're performing and how we're performing on cross server situation here. Actually, we're doing quite well uh, when it comes to cross server um, stuff here. So really, I like this, this tribe league. Uh, it's sad that we're going to lose a tribe league, which is going to be replaced by tribe duel. Again, we're in beta. They are going to definitely be able to make these changes. They can still get away with some of the changes without huge community backlash, in my opinion, because we're not yet in global. But I think if we're in global, um, it will be a bit harder for them to make these, you know, big radical changes in the game. So in Tribe Duel, um, you're going to get some task in here as you can see and this is your points you see this is today's objective so we're on the final dual stage if you want to see the stages click the dual status and you'll see day one day two just like top lord you can see day one to day six so you have six days in here each day will be um different tasks so i'm going to show them to you so that you will have an idea and you can prepare yourself when the next tribe um, tribe Duel is coming out, all right? So consumption of stamina, feel free to pause here anytime you want. There's gathering on day one. This is the eagle eye. Um, I just want to give you this information just so you are prepared. Here is day two. It is the master builder. And you can see the plus and uh, the green ones in here, the green values. Those are because of the, the technology that I have done. And I'll explain that as well to you guys in here. Well, I'm going to break it down so that you guys can have a good understanding to which um, when the game is launched to you, and this event is available, you will have a very good idea. So these are runes. So you better probably collect the rune boxes and don't open them up right now. So that's my tip for you guys. I mean, if I give you tips, it's also going to ruin my 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 strategy. So that's day three. Now, well, right, that's day three. Yep, now let's go into day four, hero trial. And by the way, if you like the, my video, I work hard on these. I'd appreciate it if you can leave a thumbs up onto the video and let me know what your um, honest opinion about Rebirth of Glory is so far. So this one is Advanced Search Points. This is a great event if you've already finished Top Lord or you don't want to compete for Top Lord, so you can compete in this event instead. Hero Token Consumption. 
um, uncommon hero tokens, elite hero tokens, consumption of legendary hero badges. All right, so here you can see uncommon hero badges. I think it's really great for those players who are just starting out in the beginning. All right, complete order status. I don't know what this one is. I don't know what this is. It could be a trade hall task, I think. I don't know. So let's go here. This one, it's me who got MVP. All right. This was our first day that we competed. That's why you see fail. Um, since it was a premature launch, we started with day five and day six. So on day five, it is going to be consumption of stamina, watchtower events. Some of them kind of repeat in here as well. Acceleration for building, building combat power. So acceleration for technology and then technology combat power, which when you claim that um, technology or finish a building, also training of units and then training squads of uh, of uh, colossal beast in here. All right. The next one is the day six. This is the duel. And if you dispatch a legendary in the, tra in the caravan, you're going to get this value. And then if you accelerate building these values in here, my value may change compared to you. And keep that in mind that the um, the medicine, uh, when you use that, that is for the one healing the, uh, the troops in the infirmary. You're going to get 33. I believe it's the base points. I had upgraded my tech, so it's 36 in here as well. Uh, Valkyrie Flash 36. So that's going to be the revive one. It's going to be the blue flash. There's going to be the yellow flash. And then whenever you kill or severely wounded 10 of uh, level 1 a soldier, you get 1 point. Uh, 5 of the level 2, you get 2 points. And 5 of the level 3, I think, which is very confusing right now, you get 3 points. Um, it says here, I think it could have been a little bit worded in here, kill, kill or severely wounded, injured, five level dual, so level five. Um, and then here, well, yeah, there's very confusing wording in here. They need to uh, uh, fix this, but I would assume this is tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five, tier six. And what the heck is this? So that could be interesting. Tier seven, I, we're, I'm going to have to ask for clarification with this why there is seven but um keep in mind it says here dual tribe all right that's a keyword here is anybody so here are two points you can see two points still all right very interesting what i was told that it is supposed to be a different calculation so i am going to escalate this and i think they may be fixing this wording in here but what i was told is that if you fight somebody that is in your tribe duel which is the one that you match with since we're matching with s2b so this one um we're gonna get double points and then um basically so that's what we talked about recently now right so when you go uh, to final duel this is where you're going to be able to go click go and you can now transfer to the sit to the server um it says ended it means event ends on this timer in here so if i click go i can actually move i don't think you need to uh bring your marches home you can actually just collect them right away you don't have to be in this area you can actually scroll and move into zone three if you would like. So if you see somebody like farming here, you can just uh, teleport. I think they need to fix things in here because see, I don't, I can't find my city right now to teleport. It's very hard. So there's a lot of stuff that they really do need to kind of uh, fix and adjust. Oh, there's my city. All right. So you can teleport anywhere. And if you're here already, um, you teleport it. You want to go back. You can go back. And then if you want to come back again, you come back without spending any teleport. So I, in my previous video, you might have seen I was spending or future video, uh, I, I was spending uh, teleports. But if you just go back home, come back, go back home, come back, you can actually save teleports in there. So that's a good tip that I want to give you guys here. And then there is a post battle rescue. So once your soldiers have reached the number of injured you're going to get these medicine this is the flesh that i'm talking about so you're going to be able to um heal your troops right away and here is going to be revived for your fallen soldier you get it to revive if you attack a city so the game does give you some um kind of supplements in here and really gives you a lot for you to kind of get back up and fight again what i was told that next time that we're going to see this you can attack players um city 
even if they are in the tribe uh, territory. So what's governing that is actually this tribe guardian. So the tribe guardian will not be effective on that day because it's going to allow PVP. So keep that in mind if you see this video. Share this video to your teammates. Very important knowledge to know. All right. So they're going to remove tri tribe guardian is basically allows you not to get hit. So uh, during an event or during the event, the admin hall is part of the tribe territory and can't be attacked or rallied. But on that day, you can get rallied. And I was also told that you don't really lose resources, but you can actually loot them, but they don't really lose resources. So that's also interesting. I haven't really proven that. All right. So there's still a lot of learning curve for me as well. So you see, I've opened up a lot more boxes in here. There's a reason for it. When we look into the rankings, I won um, yesterday's ranking. And um, there's also a weekly ranking. There's a day ranking. There's a weekly ranking. So let's go to rewards. Daily rankings, you can get 300 of these knowledge points. This is new. Let's, talk only, let's only talk about this because this is the most important. When we go to weekly competitions, you can get 800 for winning victory, 400 for losing, and then nothing here. And then what you do is you go back home. All right. Once you go back home, then you go back into your shrine, go to research. And then now you have this tribe duel. Once you go to tribe duel, what you got to do is three, three, three. It helps you if you win first place, you can do this. And then unlock the advanced chest early as much as you can, which I've done. And then next one is clan battle points. You need five of this to move to the next one. This is when you saw my healing increase um, by uh, 36 now because of this, I believe. All right, so you can see if I want to go to the next one, it will require me to do level five. So there's that. So I'm kind of stuck right now and I can't go further. Here's my honest opinion onto this. I don't mind this new technology that they have introduced because at some point when you're upgrading here into the technology, into the economic or military technology, you are going to get stalled. As you can see right now, I have 25 million, 7 million, 7 million gold. If I do one research, see, I'm stalled right now. I cannot even go further. So it's kind of nice. I can swap between the normal technology and the tribe dual technology. All right. So that's the key information here. Now let's go into the event center. This is the war preparation contest. I honestly did not know this thing existed. Here's the thing. I'm I'm not sure if I like this event. I'm not sure if it's super worth it event, but you can get some great value here as well. So here's the thing. I think they need to introduce more stamina because there's a lot of consumption of stamina now. They need to reward players with more stamina, in my opinion. But let's discuss this. So here you can see hero upgrade time. If first of all, click this calendar here on the bottom. Once you click this, you can see each day here will have different tasks. So if you go to day one, you're going to see these tasks here in every four hour increments. It will change hero upgrade, city construction, troop upgrade, rune technology, hero upgrade. All right. So it pretty much just kind of rotate every single day. It seems like it. I don't see anything that is changing. It just rotates every single day. All right. So now we're in the hero upgrade and then tomorrow hero upgrade will be at 16 UTC. So how does that work? So it changes in here. You can see the timer, three hours and 44 minutes. Now we have this um, kind of score line, okay? So here you can get this. Uh, if you reach 22 points, you get all these reward. You get 55 points, you get these rewards. You get um, 110 points, 110K points, sorry, 50, 55K points, all right? Not 55. So you get all these and you also get this war badge. Keep in mind that this war badge. So you do the task in here. If I do one advanced search, I get 1500 points. I move up a little bit. And if I do more, then I can unlock these. If you unlock these, you can get three war badge, two, five, and six, right? So six war badges in here. When you have the war badges, you then get this, you can unlock this and you get some rewards. If you manage to get to 18, then you can get to the legendary token. Honestly, I haven't opened this one yet, but this is today's target. So each day, oh wow, okay. So each day, if you really do this, actually that's a lot of rewards. If each day you get to do this, right? Every single day you manage to get to 18, then um, you can actually collect this. But I don't think you can get it on each day 18, because remember, you only get six, right? Each each day, you only get six. Oh, wait, no. It does reset. 
So it does reset here. So all of this, so you can get six, 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 and all of them, then you can potentially get this. So I haven't really participated completely on this one. The idea is that's the, you know, kind of thinking that, that I can see how it's going to work. It is going to reset and this thing reset. I was just like on the second chest here recently before it reset. So now it's back to zero. So if I manage to get six tokens already, as you can see, I have five tokens. So if I can get another one in here, I can unlock this. So we can actually um, put that in effect too. I, um, I think, no, I don't have enough stamina really, but um, that's pretty much the uh, gist of it here. And then if you manage to rank up in here as well, you can see um, as kid, he has done a lot of points in here. So he had managed to accumulate these points, these points, all right? So I only did 138k points so far, and I'm rank 8. So if you go into the rewards, if you manage to win first, you're going to get a legendary token on top of you getting tokens in here as well. And remember, this is a daily target. It's going to reset every day. So in each day, you can get two potential tokens in here. All right? So there's that. And um, what else am I missing in here? Um, really, you need to understand the um, the events in here and uh, understand the tasks that you need to do. And if you find a way to stagger some of the tasks, that will be your biggest benefit here into the game. Oh, one more thing. It says here, match, matching range, town hall, 24 to 25. So it's not going to put you in a bracket with other players that are in a lower town hall based on what we see here. So everybody that is going to be in the competition in here will be in the bracket of um, admin hall 24 to 25. So that's actually really nice as well. So those are pretty much the biggest update in here for the tribe duel and as well as the war preparation contest. Hopefully that is helpful. And um, let me know, give me your honest feedback about Rebirth of Glory. I definitely want to know more about it, what you're thinking. I'll see you guys again next time. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and uh, peace out.